Oh, hey, there we go. Sorry, I was uh, just uh, sorry. I was just updating my um, my live. So, hello, Dandy. Hello, Karen. Hello, Chibi. Hello, Zombie. Hello, Joseph. Hello, Cleffable. Uh, hello, James. Hello, Dongle. Uh, hello, I Lord. Uh, want a girlfriend? Uh, I mean, because I didn't see. Because I haven't seen a uh, girlfriend simulator uh, on Kickstarter, advertising Kickstarter. Uh, hello, Fwanya. But don't worry, I'm sure I, I will play uh, some sort of girlfriend simulation game at some point, so don't worry. Yeah, it's, uh, all the, uh, like, this game I backed on Kickstarter. Because it seemed like a fun concept, is, uh, what it comes down to. It just seemed like a really fun concept. So, it was something that I backed on, uh, Kickstarter, uh, a couple years back. Beyond that, I mean... There is Valeria. What kind of boyfriend am I looking for? Uh, I don't really know yet. So far, I've got three options. I've got Isaac, Sunder, and Valeria as uh, the options so far. So I'm not sure yet which one uh, I will be going for. And there's more options. There's uh, three more romance options to come. Plus a cat. Who's not a romance option. Larry? I won't lie, that's kind of who I'm leading to. For one thing, I, like, so far, of the three weapons I have access to, the dagger is just the one that I like the most, if I'm honest. <laughs> like, it's just, it's the dodge. Like, I like that her dodge confuses enemies. Uh, hey, yes, sir. I'm okay. My stabbing men I don't find suitable. Nah, even the up. Uh, there is one that I do want to stab. Uh, where is he? Where... Tegan, uh, this game is, uh... Yeah, I wouldn't mind stabbing this guy. I do want to stab this dude. Uh, hey, Ben. Uh, anyway. Um... Yeah, Tegan, this is, uh, Boyfriend Dungeon. It is part dungeon crawler, part dating simulation. Yeah, don't text me. Eric's like, Eric is terrible. Anyone who's watched me play this before, back me up. Eric is awful, right? Hey, your final viewing. Like, anyone want to agree with me that Eric is just the worst? Uh, it is on Steam. Uh, that's where I am playing it, is uh, on Steam. Joe, no. Unfortunately not, Joe. Um, it doesn't let you stab anyone who's not in uh, a dungeon. It only lets you stab monsters. Sadly. Uh, oh, hey, Tubber.
Alright, and uh making mozzarella sticks. Cool. I'll need to decide what I want to do for supper. I might just make myself a plate of nachos later for myself. I don't know. See how I feel in see how I feel in an hour and a half or two. Uh, once I've uh, done a little bit of this. Alright. Better level up. Uh, looks semi compelling. It's not bad. As far as I'll level uh, as far as I'll work on getting Sunder up to love rank 3. Yeah. What is, what is the I just got that needs to bleed. Do more damage when surrounded. Go straight to the seventh floor. Do you think they sell moisturizer here? I don't know. I might need to see if I can... Yeah, sorry, give me a minute here, uh, give me a minute here, guy, I need to see if I can do a, uh, if I can put on slow mode. Hey, Shell. Honestly, I might for just for this. Um, didn't have live channel. Um, hey, Angie. Uh, I'm playing Boyfriend Dungeon. No, I don't think I can... I don't know how to turn on uh, slow mode. Damn. Well, excuse me, I'm just... I'm having to talk to people. Uh, mystery, some online games? Uh, not really my thing, honestly. Hopeless? I know. I am. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Not too bad. Anything up here? Uh, I don't 
really think I need to catch my breath just yet. RuneScape? Probably never. What's this game about? Uh, about going into dungeons, uh, fighting off your fears, and finding uh, cute weapons that you can romance. Oh. I already came to the end of the floor, huh? Egg Fu Young? Probably not. Uh, character. So the character is actually whatever you want them to be. Uh, Male, female, or non-binary. Uh, so yeah, it's... Uh... So yeah, the, uh, the player character, it's uh, male, female, or non-binary. You choose your pronouns. Uh, Moxie Media! Thank you very much, Moxie Media! Oh, there's something over here, okay. We found it, so we keep it. I agree. Um... Quite ready for that just yet. Transition update. Uh, transition update is it's going to be a long time. Turns out there's a uh, two year wait list. Uh, at least two year wait list. Just to get uh, a consultation. So. So yeah, it's gonna take a long time for me to uh, be able to. All right, um, it's gonna be pretty tough for me to for me to keep up with the spammers while also playing this game. Um, uh, Lauren, Mark Lawrence, I am straight, so I think I will need to mod somebody for for this stream um play with humans yeah i'm interacting now so any uh all right Ugly hobo you're a moderator at least for now just uh keep out the the spammers um, basically anytime yeah, anyone spamming or anyone saying N words or uh, slurs. So keep the moderation to a minimum, but. Uh... Oh, hey. Uh... Hey, James. Yeah. Nah. Oh, ice cream? No thanks. Excuse me? Can't have the calories impacting my boyish physique after all. Hmm. Why do you think people come to the mall anyway? It's so sterile. 
Yeah. To buy things. Hmm. Maybe. But markets have been around a long time without being this cold. But I guess they're on the way out. Online shopping won't make a good dungeon. You'd be surprised! You can get lost in there for a long time. All the more reason to clean out these monsters. Let's get back to it. Climb down into the darkness. Still floor seven. Oh. Well, this is interesting. They allow humans down here now? I thought this place was exclusive. You're right. Yeah, it's, uh... This place is going to hell. I gotta save all my money from the dungeon. And stop getting defeated by the likes of you. Sorry. I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry. Ah. It seems you're worthy to share a shot with the heart of Verona. Hmm? What can I get for for you? Bummer jacket. Made of 69% nylon. Nice. 31% cotton. Need a mic? I've got my uh, headset. And it's got a mic on it. Well, I mean, I gotta go with the bomber jacket, right? Digital camera, blue lipstick, crimson lipstick. Hmm. I have enough money for either a camera or a bit of lipstick. Which, uh, what do you think I should go with? Snoopy, I'm actually not sure why your, uh, why your uh, comments are being immediately uh, hidden. It's weird. Lipstick, yeah, so you have some money left? Lipstick. Any other, any other votes? I'm guessing the digital camera is probably a gift. Lipstick might be for myself. I've already any questions. <laughs> All right, I'll go with the look, with the uh, crimson lipstick. <laughs> As you wish. Stay safe out there. Uh, misspelled, it's Boyfriend Dungeon. Still need more to level them up. This room kicked my ass. I am completely out of, uh... Oh. Ooh, boy. Never seen you in a headset before. Have you ever considered a call center? Uh, James, I have worked at call centers. Um, almost exclusively. Uh... I did a couple years as a, as a Walmart cashier. Other than that, it's always been call centers that I've worked at. And I cannot do that job anymore. Come on, give me some health. GG. Uh, I think it is. Well, that didn't go great. Uh, Mark Lawrence, I will still be interested in women exclusively. Uh, hey, NASA Jen. 
Hey! Still didn't level up, uh, Sunder. Damn. Where that heads up like a pro. Yeah. Not necessarily a good thing. So yeah, that didn't go nearly as well as I'd hoped. Ooh, I have a helm bike helmet. Still going with the beret. Obviously. So yeah. Uh, somebody mentioned to ask earlier about the uh, gender. So yeah. He, him, she, her, they, them. So yeah, you choose your pronouns. And uh, yeah, you get a little bit of uh, choice in clothing. That does not look good. Leather jacket is still probably my favorite. I do like... I do like the cardigans uh, dress combo. I do like this outfit. I think this looks really cute. Maybe Senpai, Senpai will notice me. I like that. Going with the bomber jacket for now. And now you can change your uh, hat. They're all ugly. You can change your skin color. So yeah, they tried to, you can change your eye smile, your, your eye style. And uh, you can change your hair color. Going purple hair. I'm going for purple hair. Some high heels would uh, look nice. I don't think you can have uh, high heels. Do I ever respond to the days of being Walmart cashier again? No. No, I do not. <laughs> Sure, keep that for now. I don't really use the zines anyway. Bone, any messages? Nope. Walmart cashier sense as well. Kinda. Alright, that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> I advanced absolutely nothing, so okay. Uh, Elsa, the game is uh Boyfriend Dungeon. Smells like fresh meat. Let's do it. No, I never laid bricks. Find a funny mirror. I mean, you work where you work, uh, Ben. Like, you work wherever you can get uh, a job. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. Well, that could have gone better. Uh, okay. Oh, geez, another round? Uh, I can see you, Jelly Tots, yes. Uh, spares. Sort of. Uh, I've been noticing which is coming. Try to avoid getting hit. I 
know. The truth is, I'm just not. I'm not a particularly good gamer. <laughs> is what it comes down to. I imagine that goes back downstairs. Thunder eyes the statue up and down, and then folds his arms. Ugh. Ugh. There have been millions of people in history that fought and loved and died, and this sculptor chose to just make something cute? Hey! Don't bash cats. Pfft, whatever. Whatever, I guess. Everyone gets their kicks somewhere. What about yours? Me? You could probably hmm. guess. I like dancing, and necks, and wrists, and inner thighs, and you, obviously. Where'd that, where'd that rose come from? Seems like being your weapon is my main kick. Ooh la la. Dye my hair purple when I transition? Maybe. Or get a purple wig. Let's get back to it then. Uh, where was the... Here we go. Yeah. Not gonna have enough money for anything, but whatever. Time to get back to Valeria. 
by Gal Valeria. I can... I can confuse people now. Uh, James, the reason is because I am not interested in men. certain messages being in. I honestly don't know. <laughs> like, it's, uh... I'm not actually sure why it defaults to some messages being hidden. Well, that was... unexpectedly easy. the sausage. <laughs> Finally, a monster freezing. Yeah, we don't really need it just yet. Okay, it's in here, buddy. Cat recipe, okay. Red Rose recipe. Let's 
door was down here. Oh, maxed, okay. Work on Istok then. Work on Isaac the Estok. No, I don't want to leave the dungeon. Oh snap, there's another weapon there! As if we keep using the half whisters in front Thanks! So what? Surely, if we press that button, we will learn more. I mean, going around pressing weird but pressing buttons on strange objects sounds pretty dangerous. What am I getting drunk on? I don't drink, James. Like, I don't, I don't like alcohol. You press the button and it flares to life. Oh, it's fire flares to life. Yeah, I just found myself a lightsaber, guys. Damn, stylish. Very cute. Hey. Whoa. I feel slow. Like I took a really long nap. He's pretty cute. His voice doesn't quite match what I would expect of him. Uh, if I'm honest. Like, I, like, I feel like he should have a slightly higher voice. Maybe I have a screw loose. Literally. He looks like a K-pop idol. He does. Who are you both? What day is it? You tell him what you know. Yeah, I got myself a fancy-ass lightsaber. I've been down here two weeks. Well, thanks for waking me up. I'm seven. That even feels like a K-pop name, doesn't it? I should probably let my agent know where I've been. Yeah, no comment. Drunk telling what's on his heart would be gold. Maybe. Honestly, like, whenever I did drink, I just got sad. Like, I just started getting morose. But I know I owe you one. How about a coffee later? Sure thing, you. Hmm. I'm a bit overlooked. I'm a bit overbooked lately, but you two should go without me. Seven leaves, and you return to your expression. Yeah, especially if I were to be drinking alone. Bad vibes with drinking, depending on your mindset, yeah. 
Oh no, don't do it like a press breaker. Uh, thanks, still trumpet. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's not for me. Sword Cufflinks recipe. Glass, okay. Do a little more exploration before... I don't know, that's where I came at. Okay. Uh, so that means I'm covering the whole door. I think it's like an alley. Arcade. Mm -mm. Oh, why could it be possible? I don't know anything about these kinds of games. I wasn't alive near them as a child. And these days, I don't have the time. You have the time right now, buddy. Hmm. I'll watch you. They look quite exciting. What do you want to play? Street Puncher, Chronosite Pinball, or Dog Walker? All right, let's uh, let's hear the vote. Oh, maybe a wheelchair. Uh, the couple of times that I've tried edibles, they just did nothing for me. The spell. So yeah. One vote for Pinball, Street Puncher, Dog Walker, so one vote for each so far. Dog Walker, Street Puncher, Dominic Torino, a fan Dog Walker. You think it did nothing, but you were fun? Street Puncher, Street Puncher. Pinball. I think it, right now it's a tie between Street Puncher and Dog Walker. A cat with ten lives. Uh, Moira McTiger. Dog Walker? Okay. Alright. Street Puncher honestly sounds like it's just Street Fighter. Let's try Dog Walker. All right, Dog Walker is taking the lead. What a strange contraption. Can you walk a sheep up? Hmm, it seems you can. But what is the purpose of points, exactly? He tried to explain high scores, and Isaac's brow furrows. Eventually, he run out of tokens. <laughs> Video games are surely a waste of time, but I'm glad you had fun. I'm playing it! I'm playing a video game right now, Isaac. He seems like he'd like, uh, 
He seems like he'd really like a uh, single monk skull. This looks delicious. Perhaps I do deserve a bit of indulgence after the week I've done. Back to it, shall we? Alright. So yeah, these, uh... The floors of this mall are getting increasingly... Creepy. Like... This floor's got spikes and holes. Uh, Eric, I am a cat lover. Uh, no Hennessy? Apparently not. Alright, still working on Isaac. Hey, Naka. Can I find help? Oh. I believe I survived that room. Whew. Really surprised you picked that being you don't like even like bugs. I mean it's It's a video, it's video game dogs. They they are different. Alright, I got some help again. Don't know that I'm ready for a challenge room just yet. Everything has a purpose. Teddy bear recipe, ah! Oh. Video dogs are different. Don't know that I'm ready for a challenge room just yet. I will come back. I'd say we've earned a bit of rest. Indeed. Isaac watches with the water gently falling. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder if the monsters came because of the beauty here. Even among the crass commercialism, there's something lovely and ephemeral about a family. Ah. To me, this is true spirituality. Enjoying a moment of light and water. I understand. Right. I'm glad. I've always wanted to share a quiet moments with someone. Like you, I suppose. We spent a moment together in silent contemplation. Eventually, you feel the moment pass and return to the dining to rest. Hmm. Alright, I'll try the uh, challenge room now. The old technology symbolizes change, I believe. 
Oh, so I'm scared of change. Is the uh, is the working theory now? Still need to love, finish up Isaac. The Estoc, whatever that means. I'm guessing an Estoc. A stock would be a type of, uh, similar to a rapier, I guess. Oh, jeez! but only barely. Get back. I know. Oh, jeez. One more hit in me. Yep. Yeah. Level 15 now. Hoo wee! Okay, that was, uh. That was not bad. But, on the plus side, uh. I got a new weapon. Plus, now. Now we leave the dungeon crawler part and enter the, uh. the dating sim. As you leave the dungeon, I don't mean to overthink things, but something's not right. Why would that sword have slept for weeks? Under a spell. Maybe. Either way, let's keep an eye out. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything. You head home. Okay, a lot of messages to go through. All right. It's been a while since we sparred, and my office has been quiet lately. How about a fencing lesson here? On God. Is this my favorite game right now? Uh, no, Mass Effect is still my favorite. Time Fire? I'm not sure he knows how to use uh, emojis. Like, I'm not sure he understands emojis fully. Are you okay, sweetie? Jesse said he's worried about one of you and one of your boyfriends. He wouldn't tell me why, though. Are you okay, sweetie? Yeah, let's get advice. I need advice. What's wrong with the boyfriend, I mean? Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sunder's been lying. Because I'm pretty sure Sunder's a vampire. How do you know it's loved? How do I choose who to love? Sounds like you're getting popular over there. I hope you still come home in September. We haven't talked about it, but you're monogamous then? Not really. <laughs> then don't choose. Just check in with your partners. If you communicate, I'm sure it'll be fine. As fun as anyone ever is, anyway. Good luck out there, sweetie. Thanks. 
Screw monogamy. Monogamy is a tool the man uses to keep us down. Do I enjoy alcoholic beverages? I do not. What a nice mom. Yeah. Did I get nothing from... I oh, don't know, there's, uh, there's Valeria. Thanks again. Doctor says any damage I took will heal itself soon. What are you up to? I wish my mom talked to me like that. Dunno. Doesn't matter. Want lunch? I should probably eat. I'll be at kicks. Alright, I can see you in there. I've been thinking a lot, and I've decided. For sure. I don't want you to die. On a side note, my mom is really nice as well. Uh, hey, Eric. What about you? I have plans. Ah, so yeah, so when I hang out, summer nights are the best. No death allowed! Uh, yes sir, yeah, is uh, I can't keep, like, I can't really track spammers while also playing the game. So yeah, I had to, uh, at least for now, I modded uh, Ugly Hobo. Okay, meet you at the beach at nine. Okay, the muffin stench is gone, mostly. Wanna come see my work some evening? Sounds good, hell yeah. Can't wait. Uh, and I think, uh, nothing from, nothing new from Jesse. All right, crafting. Red rose recipe. Let's do that. Would I play Call of Duty? No. Teddy bear. Let's do it. Vodka recipe? Hell yeah, let's make some vodka. Can I play WWE 2K22? Uh, I mean, I considered it. Like, honestly, I thought about it. Because I used to really like, uh, I used to really like professional wrestling. Um, so I've thought about it. But, the issue is, uh, it costs enough that I'm, like, I'm not, I'm reluctant to pay for it. This is sort of what it comes down to. Sword cufflinks recipe. Let's do it. WWE champions never played. Chemistry zine, do it. Last of Us. I'll probably never play Last of Us myself. Um, it seems like a kind of game that's a little tougher than I'd be comfortable with. Um, I've watched a, I've watched a really good uh, let's play of the two games. Oh, gotcha game? Nah. Alright, can't make anything else. Ah, I can make the cat. Alright, I'll make the cat. Talk to Jess with a lot of money on. Yeah, not for me. Um, I've already got a couple of uh, mobile games that I play. A couple of Marvel mobile games. Don't like gotcha games. Um, eh. Uncharted? Nah. Again, not not the type of game that I would want to play. No, I don't. No, I don't play any gotcha games now. PSP love WWE champions. I'm still waiting for a fill, and yeah, not happening. Oh, uh, good night, Chibi Chibi. Halo? No. Uh, honestly, shooters, I'm just terrible. Twenty experiment mind trap. Ooh, that sounds useful. 
Uh, yes, sir. No, I just have no interest in doing a collab with anybody. Uh, what's the cap look like? Still not as good as the beret. Oh, I didn't even... Enemies get stunned with the damage you. Exit shows in new map. Yeah. Beverage heals more. I still prefer the beret. Oh, damn it. I just realized, I just remembered that the whole reason I named her Betsy in the first place was because I gave her purple hair. <laughs> like, I just, I just remembered that, like, I think when I made the character, I gave her purple hair. And that made me think of Psylocke from the X-Men. And that's why I named her Betsy. <laughs> I just remembered that. My top five games. Uh, Super Mario 3. Uh, Mass Effect. Probably Super Mario World. Um, shit. I don't know that I've really played enough uh, Oh, Chrono Trigger and Earthbound. Duh, Chrono Trigger and Earthbound, obviously, are top five. All right, let's let's uh, let's go some on some dates. Start with uh, the new boy. You see Seven sitting alone, poking at his phone. Oh, it's you. Hey. Hey. Seven puts away his phone and looks at you expectantly. So, there's an awkward silence. Uh... So, uh, what's your favorite Blade Generation album? Never heard of Blade Generation. Undertale? Uh... I don't know. Seven smiles as if at a oh. joke. Wait, you're serious? Oh. Uh, Blade Generation is my band from Korea. He's a K-pop star! He's a K-pop idol! Double platinum. No big deal. Who was it who said that he looks like a K-pop star? K-pop idol? He's an actual goddamn K-pop idol! <laughs> Leah, yeah. Uh, folks, is, uh, Undertale? So, Undertale looks good. I've heard a lot of good things about it. But, you know what? You know what keeps me from even watching a Let's Play of it? The caption box is so loud. It's such... It's so loud the way the letters... Uh, when it shows up, the, the letters... What I'm eating tonight, I haven't really decided. You don't listen to a lot of music, I guess. You don't listen to a lot of music, I guess. You too busy? You watch net TV? So much background noise in this cafe. I mean, it's a cafe. Monster killing takes time? Yeah, maybe it'll take t less time to get better. Oh well, since you don't know Blade Generation, I guess you don't need an autograph. I mean, I'll take an autograph. Would you like to offer a gift? Let's give him mackerel. That worked? Mackerel worked? <laughs> Why did that work? Ah, it smells like my mother's cooking him some. I can't wait. Thank you. Who the hell wants mackerel as a gift? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're done here then. How is Sword Life? Sword Life, huh? I guess as a wielder, that's your main interest. Well, in Blade Generation, I'm the Mackerel. Uh... 
My agent doesn't want my sword side to be public knowledge. Might make me less cute. Dungeon? Dungeon. Give me a second. I need to look up what uh, Mac name means. Unless anybody... Uh, what am I saying? Of course somebody already knows. Youngest sibling. Okay. Sorry. Needed to check what uh, Mac name meant. Get with Thunder. Uh, I don't know. Thunder. I have concerns about Thunder. I think he's a vampire. He takes a sip from his coffee and makes a face. Something wrong? Yeah. I mean, not really, but uh. they use the wrong milk. Ask him to fix uh, -uh. It. uh, no. Talk to a stranger? More than I have to? No way. I mean... He's not wrong? Huh? Wait, why is she coming over here? Shit, cover for me! The cashier approaches your table nervously. Mm. Hey, um, sorry to bother you, but, but you're Seven from Blade Generation, aren't you? I'm Olivia. What kind of date is this? An incredibly awkward one, hobo. Seven looks at you and shakes his head slightly. There's slight panic in his eyes. Uh-uh. No way. I'd know that bias wrecker's face anyway. Wait, oh. that means... Oh. oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! Play Generation is in Verona! Chill, Olivia, chill. Huh? Maybe even Sungu is here too? Seven's face closes, becoming carefully blank. <laughs> Olivia rushes away, typing on her phone excitedly. Yeah. Whatever. Can't come here anymore, I guess. Thanks for having my back. Later. I guess there's still the Dutch, if you want to. The monsters won't bring paparazzi. I mean, you never know. Everybody's into K-pop these days. Cooking video was amazing. Yeah, we're gonna try. COD? No. Love rank 1. Yay! Chain Lightning! When finishing a combo, an energy bolt damages a nearby enemy from the first enemy hit. Ooh, that sounds useful. Seven slouches out, met by an expensive looking car outside. You head home. Never going to kicks again, so hope you have other ideas. Beach? Eh, I don't know. I'll think about it and get back to you. Alright. Alright, time for... Time for a date with... My girl. You turn onto the side street that houses Valeria's art studio. But the smile on your face drops off as you see Jake walk out. Eh, confront him. You stand in front of him, arms crossed, trying to project confidence. And maybe just the tiniest bit of menace. Huh. Get out of my way. Get out of my way? Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna be in your way a long time. Oh, yeah? I'm trying to walk down the street and you won't let me? You're a dick! Jake looks kind of shady. He does. Look, can we skip the bullshit? You're just jealous. And that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> he gives you a grin and then saunters away, whistling. You watch him walk away and turn to look at Valeria's door. You should just leave Jake alone and go in. Yeah, you will. Anytime now. Yeah, I'm going into the... I'm not following Jake's. Screw that guy. The studio smells of paint and some kind of woody, spiced hey. perfume. Oh, I thought you'd be here later. Did you see Jake? Yeah, I talked to him. He's being ridiculous right now. Thank you for being honest with me. Of course. Speaking of which, she twirls a strand of, her, of hair nervously and looks away. No reason to be nervous. You're a catch. Speaking of messy, I have something to show you. Uh, 
Uh, are you having problems right now, Eric? Hmm. I want to trust you with a new part of me, and I'm not sure I should. A new part of you? <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I, I, say no more, say no more. Do you really want to know who I am? I want you to be honest. It's a big step, but I want to take it with you. Yeah, I want to know who you yeah. are. Yeah. Really? Okay, then. Come with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. You walk through Verona Beach with Valeria, holding hands in near silence. Ah, oh, gotta get that hand... Getting that hand-holding action in there. <laughs> yeah. Both of you are nervous with anticipation. It feels palpable between you. <laughs> Getting ready to put me in the friend zone. You keep walking till you reach the mall. Valeria tugs you to the side. She searches your face as you take in the mural on the once plain wall. That's very lovely. The uh, the head the head rest uh, or the headdress thing the the thing on the woman's head gives me storm vibes from X Men. What do you think? It's beautiful. Thanks. You really think so? Um. Wow. Thank you. It is like that is a very lovely mural. I really like it. Not sure I understand it. But I like it. This is my last secret. Mine and Jake's and Jessica's. We were, we are, the Roses of Venus. That's what we made together. We bring beauty and love to the streets around the world. You're one of maybe 30 people in the whole world who knows who we are. It's a big secret. What? Be what? Being an internationally renowned art provocateur? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I guess I just trust you. Uh, yes, sir. As far as I'm aware, yes, sir, there's no sex in the game. Well, that's my secret. This is who I am. Actually, I think I did have sex with Valeria, but it's like off screen. Am I surprised that this is weird? Nope, you shouldn't be. Istanbul, Paris, Tokyo, New York, London, Shanghai, and now Verona Beach. Our last job altogether was a loom. It got us a lot of attention. I think we're wanted by Interpol now. Nice. And Jessica wanted more of it. The more dangerous it got, the Ugh. better. I just needed to get away from it all, you know? Live low. No chance of running into Jessica on Main Street. This is the opposite of her scene. <laughs> Valeria looks at you, the truth of her painted on the wall behind, impossibly bright. Hell yeah! Heavy finishers have a wider damage area. Sounds useful. Heavy finishers confuse enemies. Confuse does sound good too. But. Wider damage area? I'm gonna go with the wider damage area for now. <laughs> Plus, I'm really starting to like it here. More than like it, maybe. You stand together. People talk about the mural and take pictures as the sun goes down. Would you like to offer a gift? Hell yeah, I do. Gotta go with the rose. Oh, thank you. Really? You head home. Should have gone with the teddy bear. I feel like I should have gone with the teddy bear. Damn. Huh. No new messages from her, huh? Damn! Rose is a friend zone thing? It's a romantic gesture, but... Alright. Let's level up, uh... Well, hello. You seem to be getting the hang of parrying, so today we'll try the ripost. Uh, it's not Carpe Diem. After a parry, a ripost lets you thrust in return. He glances at the door, then back to you. Mm. Here, it's easier if I show you. Go ahead and attack you, and attack me. Let's go attack right. Isaac easily deflects, and suddenly his foil pokes into your shoulder. 
Since you held off, I need to extend further to Ripost. See? A, ripo a Ripost turns the attacker's energy back upon them. Mm. Isaac glances at the clock. Here, I'll attack you. Parry, and then step forward immediately and attack immediately. Uh. No. Yes. Yes, I think so. I don't know. You're very perceptive. I'm sorry. I'm distracted indeed. He takes off his gear and pours refreshment. <sighs> my father has finished a hostile takeover of my firm. He bought a majority and discredited me with the board. So, my time is just about over at Perks Associates. I only have today and tomorrow. I try not to care what he thinks. He's a foolish, closed-minded old man. Uh, Kimberly Rose, I do not enjoy country music in general. <clears throat> I've officially disowned him and cut off contact. But now... I'm going to lose everything I've built here. Because of him. How can I not care? Be proud of what right. you did. I know. I am proud, I promise. I tell myself that all the time. But I'm really glad that I talked to you. I'm sorry to burn you. Reduce charge time for heavy attacks? Wider finishing damage? Reduce charge time seems more useful to me, honestly. This is sad. It is. I guess this is our last time fencing in this office. Tomorrow's my last day. I sold my stock. I'll be comfortable while I sort out what to do next. It'll be a bit like starting over. I've lost so much. Hmm. I keep trying to focus on fencing, but it's not working. Maybe I should give up. Hmm. Or I could make a house call for a uniquely talented fencing student like you. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Why not tonight? Well, it's tempting to want to get closer to you any way I can. Mm -mm. But your temptation might be too strong for me right now. I know I'm not in a great place emotionally right now, but I dream about you. Oh, yeah. Bow, chicka, chicka, bow, chicka, chicka. Uh. I need to know we're committed to each other before we can be intimate. Otherwise, I'll just regret it afterwards. And I don't want to regret anything with you. <laughs> okay, that's going a bit far. This is uh, maybe a little bit much. <laughs> Understood. But don't worry. I promise I'm not trying to rush you. I'm just being clear about my requirements. Take your time and think about it. He leans in and gives you a long kiss. Oh, romantic. I suppose that's a good night for now. Thank you for your companionship. You head home. I've been dreaming about you. Zombie dreams? Heavens no. Do you get those? I hope not. You were healing broken weapons of all kinds. Me too. It was lovely. You're a comfort to me, even when I'm asleep. Thank you. Aww. He's sweet. Alright. Capulet Beach. <laughs> nice. Hey. You find Sunder and Min Mandy sitting on a dune. Sunder appears to be drinking. Naturally. Woo! Uh -huh. Woo! Yeah! Being alive is the best, right? Uh... I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I like Mandy. Mandy's so goth. You know, most people are dead statistically. That's a lot of people. Really. A lot. Hey, Omi. Amy. Sorry. Hi, Amy. I miss Red first. Sometimes I try to calculate the number of ghosts there should be. Hmm. Even if 1% of people had unfinished business, that'd be millions of ghosts. All kinds of ghosts. Sultans, schoolgirls, fashion designers, farmers, everyone. Why would he mention... Does he have a schoolgirl king? <sighs> Are you really trying to be more goth than me? 
I like Mandy. I wish we could date Mandy. Yeah. No, I'm being really anti-goth right now. No, I'm being really anti-goth right now, Mandy. Keep up. I'm saying living is like the VIP section of the universe. Why all this death stuff? Why not? It's all around us. That's what being alive means, right? Dying? What about books and mountains? They're not alive, but they're way better than people. I agree, I love books. You know, books are great. For example, I just finished reading Kiki's Delivery Service. <laughs> I'll have a review of that uh, probably Monday or Tuesday. Probably Monday, I'll put up a review of Kiki's Delivery Service. So stay tuned for that. Shameless self-promotion for the win. <laughs> what about you, Betsy? Do you think about death often? You spend time chatting, looking out over the moonlit ocean. Eventually, there's a silence, and Mandy clears her throat. I'm getting hungry. You must be too, Sunder. How about a snack? Mandy looks at you curious, curiously. What kind of food? I like my food fresh and locally sourced. Verona Beach has a few options. Hey. Cut it out, Mandy. These two are absolutely vampires. What? You haven't told poor Betsy about our little hobby? Ugh. Ah, Mandy, just go home if you're feeling antsy. Suit yourself. Just don't stay out too late. The sun comes up fast in summer. They're vampires! Mandy slinks away into the evening. Sunder glares at hmm. her. Sunder sighs, apparently at a loss for words. Nah. What was that about? I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. A cold breeze comes in from the ocean, chilly against your skin. Well, I do. He pointedly ignores what you said and instead rubs your arms gently. Sunder's hands aren't any warmer, but the friction helps you relax them. He takes off his jacket and settles it around your shoulders. He's been waiting to do that. And I'm just gonna leave this here for a couple minutes. Um, I know there's some people in the chat who are gonna really enjoy this, so I'll just leave it here for a little bit. Um, so you just take your times. You just take your time. Woo! Guy's even making me thirsty. Sunder's <laughs> the whole package. Three second years. He's because he's lying about being a vampire. He's, a, he's clearly a vampire, but he won't be honest about it. Oh, hey, Shades. <laughs> Here, I also got you a little gift. I always wake up too late to use them. To use them. Thanks. Imagine what Sunder is packing down there. And I know you said you want the truth. I, I've been thinking hmm. about it. I guess I still have some things I'm not ready to talk about. It looks like he started to shiver. Let's just forget about this and we'll walk you home where it's warm. You walk together through Verona Beach until you arrive at your building. You give him his jacket back. He puts it on gratefully. I know you're probably furious with me right now, but just listen for a second, okay? <laughs> Before Mandy ran her mouth, I had so much fun with you tonight. Usually around now I get the summertime blues, but with you I feel so alive. Love rank 3, deep cut, bleeding does more damage. Like, all my dark thoughts don't weigh me down. And honestly, I don't want to go back to my lonely apartment. It's like a crypt. I'd kick myself later if I didn't ask. Can I come up? Please do. Can I get a few kisses here? 
You linger on the street corner before leading upstairs. Bow, chicka, bow, chicka, bow, wow, chicka, chicka. He waits outside the apartment politely until you invite him in. Vampire! Vampire! Wow, I like your place. You have good taste. I'm a little nervous, but I just want to treat you right. Uh, Elsa, yes, I do have Netflix. Anyway, someone was asking about sex scenes, so I guess we're about to get one. You spend the evening together. He's athletic and attentive, singularly, fo singularly focused on making you feel good. Oh yeah! You notice his skin and blade remain strangely cold to the touch, no matter how long you cut it. His blade. That, that what we're calling it. Uh-huh. Want another blanket? Sure, why not? No harm being extra cozy. You snuggle up and kiss a few extra dozen times before he staggers to his feet, pulling his clothes back on. Can't wait until next time. I got something to do tonight. Later, hotness. He lets himself out, and you soon fall asleep. His blade. Yeah, that was cheesy, calling it his blade. I just want to say, you're cooler the more I get to know you. So, thanks? Let's dunge! Laser Saber. All right. One more trip into the dungeon. Um. Uh, ooh, I can go right to the eleventh floor now. You get in the elevator. Going down. So I'm probably... Don't overdo it just to impress me. Wonder if they will skip floor 13? Probably not. this sword. I'm not gonna lie, I am liking this sword. This is, this is a good one. This is a good weapon I got now. Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay, I got, I screwed up there. That was, that one was on me. Please don't huff petrol from a can. I'll try not to. I wouldn't mind chilling here if you're into it. It's 
Sounds good. Oh, I remember this well now. I've been here before. Hmm. I've been living in Seoul since I was eight, but I still have some memories. Growing up in BB, this fountain was my favorite. We didn't have money to shop, with, but I would take off my shoes and play. I missed that. Just being a kid, you know? Not worrying about how you look. <laughs> I guess that's stupid to think about. You can never go back. Take off your shoes! Play! What? Huh? You splash him with the water. Nuh uh. Stop! Stop! Thanks. I appreciate the sentiment, but not right now. I'm done here. Can we go? Ah. Uh. There was nothing on the other side of this, was there? Nope. Just have to make sure. Wet, dirty socks. Uh, those are terrible. Wet socks are just the worst, aren't they? Have I played Bastion? I have not. I haven't heard... I have never even heard of that one. Uh... Play other games, you'll get more views. I mean, it's not just about getting views, though. Like, I'm playing games that I want to play. I hope this isn't stealing. Pepperoni pizza recipe, ooh. But no, like I'm, like, I'm playing the games that I want to play also, is what it comes down to. Well, I have to admit, that was satisfying. Damn right it was. Yeah, I'm enjoying my laser sword. I'm enjoying my lightsaber. Alright, he's done, so change weapon. Who am I treating with that fat water cat? Uh, no, still haven't seen the Batman. I want to play kids' game, Sarah! Maybe not the best time to be hitting on me. I'll read your messages later, guy! I'm still fighting monsters in a dungeon! Together! Yep. That seems like a good time to hit on someone. <laughs> what's that, uh, what's that manga? Uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Never read it, but there's a manga by that name, isn't there? Oh, boss room! Snap! Also, that thing's gross. So I'm gonna have to fight a butterfly, aren't I? Oh, 
jeez. Okay, that's, uh, no. Please, no. Yeah, I am not enjoying this. I am not enjoying this boss. I mean, it's a fun fight. Gah! Gah, why? Dude. I got like two hits in any IO yet that time. Gah. Stop hitting me. Oh, what the hell was that? Me? I come on. I got it. I killed it. I killed the monster. God, that thing was gross! Wow! Watch that Magical Girl anime. There's a bunny and a bunch of Magical Girls. More ball over that butterfly. Sorry, just catching up. Uh, I've never played Persona J, so I can't really say. Because Red should be to avoid being hit. I know. I made some dumb mistakes in that fight. How do you respond to the rumor that I suck at games? I'm totally, I totally suck at games. Fear of change conquered. Can I have health now? Oh, that's... Oh, new weapon! The chip pole arm is a little unwieldy in your hands. As you touch it, it transforms. Weapon number five. Two to go. Well, he seems dorky. Hey, whoa, careful. Hi, I'm Sawyer. Yeah. I think he's got a bit of a rainbow badge on there. Or they? They, I'm guessing, actually. Sorry I'm a little long. I don't mean to be awkward to wield. What is with those pants? Cargo pants! Actually, I didn't mean to be down here at all. My memory's fuzzy, and my head hurts like crazy. I feel like something's missing. It's weird. Huh. I guess I should go to the hospital, then call my mom. Or my blacksmith. Hmm. hmm. But all that has to wait because I'm late to history class. Oh. Uh, Sunshine Granny, I don't know if I did see it, actually. Give me a second to see if I can find it. Nope. Don't see anything from you, Sunshine Granny. Sorry. My professor's gonna dock me points for sure. But, um, maybe I could buy you lunch to say thanks? 
Of course. Here's my number. Bye for now. They hurry away towards. Yep. Yeah, Non-binary. Okay. Hey, Langella. So, yeah. Non-binary, clearly. Shiny. Travel guide recipe. Okay. Alright. Gotta see if I can find... Yay, help! Man, did I ever need it. Do you like a break? I certainly do. I never quite got the hang of ice skating. Um... It's fun, don't get me wrong. I just... I fall down a lot. I hope you're ready. Hang on to me! Oh yeah. No. Oh, you said that earlier or something. Yeah, I heard that. She didn't even tell me that she was going for... She never told me that she was going for her family, so... This is not the non binary rep we deserve. Stereotype is a stuttering freaking nerd. Uh, my understanding, Boxes, is that uh, a lot of non binary people would feel represented that way. <laughs> huh? Are you sure? I'd hate to bring you down with me, but here goes. You can have a lot of fun on the ground there, Valeria. Don't worry. She clings to your elbow, carefully putting one skate in front of the other. Faster! <laughs> Yeek! Wait, how do I stop? Uh, in my experience, you usually stop by running into the side. I'm kidding. You just twist, you just turn your, uh, feet a little bit. So you're, uh, you're non, uh, non-binary there, Vosis? <laughs> she flips, slips and stumbles, but you help her regain her balance. <laughs> Valeria beams, excitement flushing her cheeks. Eventually, you take off the skates. Thanks. Thanks, that was fun. Whew. And my health's back to full. I this is where I came in. I think this is where I came in, isn't it? Put a shoe on my head? I'm not putting a shoe on my head. <laughs> uh, are you enjoying this boyfriend dungeon? I am, Sarah. And uh, I identify as a dipshit, like the support. Passing the challenge room, uh, there's no... You don't really get anything out of the challenge rooms, and... I'm genuinely surprised I beat that boss in the first try, honestly. Come to my house, I have chips. Over level 16! Nice! 17! Even better. Uh, have you ever watched that 80s movie named Soul Man? I have not. Uh, I have not watched it. Snap, so I finished them all. I beat... I have now defeated the mall. That's how awesome I am. I beat the mall. Jeez. Hey, nice meeting you. I only recently came out as non-binary, um, but please use they, them. No problem. Anyway, I don't know if you're free, but could you? But I could buy you breakfast or lunch? At Kex? It's my favorite place. Sure. Uh, what game is it? It's Boyfriend Dungeon. Exactly. Perfect. See you there. Good on him for... Good on them. What was her name again? 
Good on Sawyer. I, I'm happy for them. Looks like there's another dungeon now under La Rosa. That idiot Sunder will probably get himself killed down there. Good thing he has you to save him. How about a movie? I could go for horror or action. Action! Yeah, that is what it's actually, that is the actual name exactly, 94, yeah. How about we see The Dunch? It's showing at 6.30 most nights. I heard it's good. Let me know. Okay, let's go. Meet you inside. Don't bring the fan club. Left Eric. Eric's a jerk, okay? Eric sucks. Nobody likes Eric. Hey, I'm getting some weird vibes from, from my basement. I mean, my club's basement. It's always been creepy, but this is different. I think I saw a monster down there. I'll check it out. Cool. Thanks. Doesn't seem like the monsters will come upstairs. So we could just dance and ignore them, I guess. Let me know if you need someone to wield. Anyone have anything else to say? Oh, I guess I... Pepperoni pizza, let's make it. Callie, I've got a couple dates. Summer dress. Why not? Only legal between spring and autumn. <laughs> That's kind of cute, isn't it? Oh, and snap, I forgot somebody gave me glasses. Enemies bleed when they damage you. Hell yeah. Looking good. Uh, Ramona? Uh, a little bit. I did get a little bit of the boots last night. Wasn't bad, actually. And I've got a monster plushie. Oh. Sunglasses with a summer dress. Nice and summer. Uh, not sure what you mean, uh, Kelly. I'm not quite sure I followed you there. Alright. You arrived to find Sawyer and Olivia. Uh. No more freebies. You haven't worked here for like a year. Uh. Come on, just one more measly sandwich. I owe a friend big time, please. Is your friend Betsy by chance? Huh? How did you know? Hi! Oh, um, hi Betsy! I'm just, um, I'm just, um, paying for us both. Uh... Sawyer takes their buckets for money, flushing. Oh, here, I found this. How many of these can I get you? They hold out five lumps of sugar in their palm. Olivia shakes her head. Sawyer seems slightly panicked. You're watching a you're watching a game that is one part. Uh, you're watching a game that is like fifty percent uh, dungeon crawler, fifty percent dating simulator. All uh -huh. No, no, Betsy, put your money away. But Sawyer, I swear to all the gods, it's the last time. Okay? Yeah. You bet. Thanks. You're the best, Liddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. You sit at a table. It doesn't look like Sawyer has anything to eat. 
Wanna split this? Uh-uh. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. As you eat, you see the rise tracking your sandwich carefully, unable to stop staring. No, no, don't slow down. Sorry, let's talk about something else. Um, they swallow hard and avert their eyes. Just have some. <laughs> At your more forceful invitation, Sawyer takes half and wolfs it in two bites. Gotta turn my mic up? Uh, I don't think I can turn my mic up. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I can. So thanks, good stuff. Um... Here, uh, I want you to have these, okay? They give you a few sugar ones. You awkwardly stuff them in your pocket. Sawyer so smiles, pleased with themselves. Hey, I was looking online yesterday, and a lot of weapons in Verona Beach are getting chipped lately. Hmm. Maybe there's something about the dry summer heat that makes us brittle? Maybe someone's doing it. What, chipping us on purpose? A cereal chipper? I'm not sure what the point would be. I hope they're not targeting students in particular. That'd be so creepy. Sawyer's eyes wander back to your plate, where only crumbs remain. Uh, okay, I'll just try to speak louder. A wildcat growl erupts from under the table. Is there an animal loose in here? After a moment, you realize it's actually a bluff. That might make it matter a little bit, actually. You realize it's all your stuff. Uh... Sorry, jeez. You might be understanding for me. To be honest, I can't afford to eat much. I had a good job for a while, and I get free rent from my mom, but it's hard. How do people afford eating anyway? Is everyone rich? Restaurants are so expensive. You have sorry the pizza you made? Oh, good choice. And they rip people off. Scones only cost like 10 cents of flour and 10 cents of butter. I'm in a business class, and it seems someone could disrupt that market easily. <laughs> Cut out the middleman. Buy the ingredients yourself. I can make an app that tells you how to make a dish like a restaurant would. You co you'd save costs by not paying a waiter or a hostess, too. Boom! What do you think? You just invented cooking. Huh? Oh yeah, cooking. That's what it's called. Ugh, oh, this is all so dumb. I don't know, I hate business stuff, to be honest. I'm more into history class. I was just taking it for easy credits, but everyone in the class is so competitive. Mm. I have to come up with a business idea for my semester project, and this is all I got. My next step would be documenting the process. Cooking, to use the technical term. Uh. But I don't even know how to boil an egg. I tried once and ended up with a black husk. I'm a working class bitch, but slow. What are you asking? <laughs> I could teach you. That would be amazing. I'll do a little research on egg boiling first, but then I'll hit you up for lessons. If I bring the ingredients, could we? Does it? Will you? Do you think? I'll just wait for. Sawyer takes a breath and gathers. Um. Breath. Is it a date? We'll see. Uh huh. Okay, I'll, um, I'll try to play it cool. Yeah. Close to my better than scream? Weird. I've got to get to history, but let me know when you're heading to the dunch. I did, I did some first aid on my cracked blade and I'm ready to fight again. Throw? I mean... Hobo, I just got played earlier this episode, Hobo. Jeez. Yeah, throw your weapon. Great strategy. Bye. Talk to you soon. Why are you messaging me again, Sunder? Is that too much? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's maybe a little forward. Yeah, okay. Had to do it. I had I had to do that one. 
sounds like to boil an egg, you have to use a lot of water. Like, a whole pot full. So that was my problem. I forget, did I have another date? I feel like... Yes, him. This loser. Which I can't go in? Oh, there we go. Go on a date! K-pop idol, yeah. You and Seven find your seats as the movie starts. Thanks, Ramona. Hey, Gunrar. Play the boiled egg game. The film features a virtuous hero struggling against the odds to save her son. We can do this! But we have to work together! <laughs> I bet the son's gonna become a sword to save her. A katana, maybe? Before long, the sidekick dies, and Seven frowns. Eventually, the hero mother emerges victorious, son standing proudly beside her. The lights come up, and you leave the theater. Aw, oh, man. Maybe I set my expectations too high. I mean, it was fine. Mm. What did you think? I like spending time with you. Seven eyes you thoughtfully, but doesn't reply. Would you like to offer a gift? Uh, do I have anything worth giving? Nah. No gift for right now. Chain lightning can reach further. Sounds good. Thanks, Callie. Chain lightning stuns it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, those are both good options. Stun. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. I totally didn't know you'd be here. Hey. Seven makes a face, as if pleading silently for rescue. We were just leaving. I haven't seen you around the cafe lately, but I wanted to give you something. Seven, I, I wrote this yeah. personal letter. All right, I'll take it. Fans are important to me. Uh-uh. Or no, that is... Sorry, can you deliver it for me? Ouch! Damn, guy! Damn, Olivia! That is cold! Seven blinks. It's for Sungwoo, my ultimate bias. Can you give it to him for me, pretty pretty please? He stares at her for several seconds. Cold! Olivia, you just committed murder! Nah. -uh. <laughs> Seven walks away. Huh? Wow, fame sure has gone to his head, huh? Olivia's holding an envelope. Sungwoo is written on it with hearts for O's. I'll just have to figure out where Sungwoo's staying at this. That's stalking. It's not stalking if I don't bother him. It's just a letter. Nothing creepy in it either. Mm. She sighs dreamily and wanders away. Sa Olivia the Savage, yeah. Olivia the Savage. <sighs> Damn K-pop stance. You head home. All those damn K-pop stands. S had to go. Sorry. Talk to you later. And I think that's all the dates I can go on for now. Could do some shopping. How much money do I have? Can I see how much money I have? $85. Cool shades. Best worn at night. <laughs> oh, jeez. You can go on a... What? Who am I dating here? You arrive just as a hearse drives away. It seems someone died. Who the hell am I dating here? A young person stares down the street after him. Goodbye. 
Yeah. Bird. Until next time, Alice. Farewell. Don't talk about her. You didn't know her. Oh, it's you. Huh. Why did you come here? Who are you? Why do you... What? How? Never mind that right now. Answer me. Why did you come here? Just exploring the town. They pursed their eye, their lips. Eyes no, start. I meant Verona Beach. You're the cause of all this, you know. Buh? The monsters, the universe thrown out of balance. Buh? If it weren't for you, maybe Alice would still be alive. Buh? Their shape begins to change. Maybe I should just end you and see if status quo returns. Well, that was a pretty cool transformation. Yeah. That's a good transformation, guy. That was very well done. And you're a very wicked looking safe. They seem serious. This seems like an important decision. Your life is on the line. Enticing temptation. Almost sexual. Uh, if you say so, guy. The scythe gleams hungrily at your urging, as if wetted. There's a moment of silence as a breeze passes between you. <sighs> Fine. I can't just kill a random person I just met. I guess. Even you. Pretty human. Aw, oh, thank you, bird. Hush. Thank you, bird. The bird is so nice. Uncertainty passes over their features. So, why... Why did you come to Verona Beach? Who even I'm are you? My threat wasn't personal, I assure you. Well, thank you, Rowan. Bird sounds like Kermit the Frog. A little bit, actually. A little bit. But I suppose I would also feel angry in your situation. Though I hadn't expected you to respond the way you did. Emo 2005 high school vibes? I can, I can understand that. I must remember that you are unpredictable. Perhaps more dangerous than I thought. I, I'm not dangerous. Oh, well. The reason you came to Verona Beach doesn't particularly matter. My grandmother is gone either way. Uh, sorry, Rowan. And you're here now. We'll have to survive somehow, in spite of your chaos. You know, dungeons everywhere, creatures running amok. Someone's violating the laws of nature. There's a wrongness rippling. I still blame the weapon sword, You've dude. You've been seeing weapons damaged, haven't you? It's a pattern of evil intent. Only a witch of very high caliber can hope to make things right again. And I should get back to it. That's what Alice would have wanted. Are you a witch? They don't acknowledge your question and turn Goodbye. away. Bye. Bye. Bye, Birdie. They disappear into the house, leaving you alone on the street. Inherit his grandmother. I would guess so. Again, just one more quick look around, make sure there's uh, nothing else new. Because that was certainly new. Let me back in! Why can't I, why can't I go into the cat cafe? All right, so yeah, it looks like I've uh, done everything I can here. So next episode, next time I play, we'll start a new dungeon.
convenient how the dungeons are so close to my home. You know, Parton was just a couple blocks away. La Rosa, even, even sooner. Or even closer, I mean. So yeah, uh, two hours is a pretty good time. Pretty good length of time for this. So I will call it a uh, call it an episode here. Right, here's the So next time I'll do a new dungeon with a new weapon. Neat. Oh, uh, before I go... Kitty. Sorry, Casey. <laughs> Just figured I'd show you all, uh, the cat, because she came in. Cat came in, so... Say bye. Say bye, Casey. me with your ears. She happened to come in, so I figured I'd pick her up and let her and put her on camera just for the few seconds. But anyway, yeah. So, uh, this was fun. So, thanks for joining me. And I'll try to do this again uh, next week, hopefully. But for now, uh, yeah, have a nice night, everybody.